So I'm going to try doing Game of Thrones reviews for this season. Uh, as you can tell, I was very excited uh, for last night's episode wearing my Jon Snow shirt. If you can't read what it says, it says, These crows ain't loyal. For those of you that know what that means, uh, I'm glad you do. So, Game of Thrones is a show that I started watching when I heard everyone talking about this thing called The Red Wedding. I binge watched the first three seasons, didn't know anything that happened, I didn't know this family called the Starks uh, was all going to get massacred at it. And yeah, just if you don't know by now, in the title, it does say spoilers. Spoilers from everything that's happened through now. Spoilers were happened last night. So spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. If you don't want to know what happened, save it for later and watch then. Again, this is a spoiler review. Spoilers. So, and then from that, and then... Seasons 4 and 5, it had its moments, but it was never that show for me that I really looked forward to every, every Sunday. was like, ah, I'm so excited. But then season 6 happened. Season 6 was kind of like how Kawhi Leonard was always a good player. He won the 2014 Finals MVP, uh, defensive magician, but then like how... This past year, he elevated his game to 25-7 and seven, and also being one of the best defensive players here. So to compare that to Game of Thrones, how Game of Thrones Season 6, how it started with, can we bring back Jon Snow? And then at the end of Episode 2, when he's just like, <gasps> and then he came back, I was like, yeah! Oh, that, that, that was amazing when he came back to life, which... I, I was not expecting that to happen, and then the whole thing with uh, Tyrion helping Daenerys, and then Cersei, even though she doesn't have any, like, physical balls, having the biggest balls of anyone, blowing up the entire sept, whoo, damn, wildfire, that, that, that was wild, and then and her last son, her last child committing suicide, and... Like the Iron Islands, like Theon and and y and Yara, like joining Daenerys and them like sailing. So and and it, and it caps off with whoo Arya, like how how Arya Stark literally slit the throat of Walter Frey, and I use that image of my fantasy football team, which of course won its championship. A team has no name. Girl has no name. And the the last two episodes, Battle of the Bastards and The Winds of Winter, those two episodes were truly, like, cinematically awesome. I mean, th those last two episodes took it to where now, for me, for TV, the top two spots are taken. Seinfeld Kurt. You're not, I don't care who you are, you're not touching Seinfeld Kurt. But, look, you look at the, the remaining contenders you got. For me, you have your 30 Rock, your Raymond, your Big Bang Theory. You got the Office, Friends. But, Game of Thrones finishes strong. It's got a shot at that three spot right behind Seinfeld and Kirby. It's got a shot. It was that, it was that great. So, uh, starting with last night's episode. So, I don't know about for all of you that watched, but for me, my HBO Go was giving me a heart attack. I kept trying to load. It took a half hour. Around, around 9.32 until I could play it. And when I finally got into the play, I was so, so relieved. And so, when the opening scene with Walter Frey I was talking with a coworker today, and she thought the same thing as me, where I honestly thought it was a flashback. I wasn't sure exactly when it was a flashback to, whether it was uh, right after uh, Jamie helped them, helped them get uh, River Run back, and or like before. I mean, obviously it had to be before Arya slid the throat, but I wasn't exactly sure. But when when she like. I took off the face 
and he saw everyone coughing. So like, uh, I, I was like, that was a get up out of my couch. Mom was like, oh, damn. So, and it was nice how she spared, she spared the, the wife, how everyone, how everyone could be, like, those people are dead. But she could say, yeah, you left a wolf alive and he's going after for the night. Or in this case, she is going after those lambs and sheep and they dead. So, so Arya, cr Arya crushed, I'll get back to her. Uh, later. So now next. So you got you got got my boy John John Snow. Or based on last year, how he's I guess he's technically a Stark because he is the the son of of Lyanna Stark and the son of Rhaegar Targaryen. So I guess John Targaryen, John Stark Targaryen. So. I, I, don't, I don't know if he wants to hyphenate or whatever, but nonetheless, how him and I loved the the back and forth between him and Sansa, how she has done the most development from being, oh, I want to marry Joffrey, I just want to be his queen, to like being like a badass bitch, like how sick in the dogs on Ramsay, uh, Sophie Turner has done a, tr a tremendous job over the years, uh, hats off to her. So saying, what should we do uh, with the with the houses that turned against? Which I get both sides because at one point they did they did go against you. The cow starts and the umbers were against you. They were responsible for the red wedding. They did fight with Ramsay, and I totally get her side for saying those castles should be for 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 those that that sided. With, with House Stark. But at the same time, I gotta go with my guy saying, the children of of those fathers and relatives, like that's not their fault. That, so, John gave them the opportunity to pledge allegiance. This way, they got their banner. Because realistically, uh, the White Walkers, that's the true enemy. So, who, so who knows like when that next interaction between uh, the White Walkers and and the north is happening, but I really like that interaction. And who knows what's happening with with uh, Baelish? You can never you never trust him, and I think mean, that that was great. And you can tell how how John he wants to be, or, or Sansa wants to have him be better than than their father and and Rahel. Both were were great leaders, but at the same time. They got killed because they made idiotic mistakes. So, with th so with that, uh, let's go to let's go to King's Landing and how Cersei, Cersei and Jamie. So, Cersei is scary as fuck now. Jamie should be afraid of her because the one more the one thing that she had that that gave her a moral compass was her children. She has no more children. All she gives a fuck about is herself and just keeping the, the Iron Throne as long as possible. So what, so what Jamie's thinking is that, that they have no allies. They're maybe, uh, she's maybe queen of like the three kingdoms at best. And I thought it was a, like it made a lo very lo logical sense. The fact that you had, uh, Euron and, and the I. And the Iron Islands, they come over to their allies just because uh, the, the nephew uh, Yara and Theon joined, joined Daenerys. So that made sense that, that he wanted to be the king. And when he said, I got two good hands, you could tell that Jaime just wanted to fucking like, spear his sword right through him. Which, maybe that'll happen later. I don't know. That could happen. I wouldn't, wouldn't be totally surprised if that happened. But when he said a gift, I don't know what all of you took to, uh, as the gift he was talking about. The thing that my mind to went first was it was Tyrion's head on a spike. Was just because you can always tell that he, that Cersei blames Tyrion for their mother, their mother dying. He actually killed their father. Uh, she blames him for for Joffrey, even though that, that wasn't him. But. But yeah, that's what I t 
thought is the gift. And yeah, you can never trust her just because she's just someone that will as has no moral compass and will literally blow up people without thinking about it. So she's is dangerous. I'm curious to see if things progress between uh, her, her and Yuron because they do need the ships and and the men. Uh, uh, da Daenerys, how how like seeing her was was amazing. How she's she's a Targaryen. The Targaryens are the one who are supposed to be ruling. She hasn't been to Dragonstone in, in since she was a baby. Just seeing her put her, her hand through the sand, seeing like all the dragons, uh, the stat the statues, uh, the dragon glass. Like having her take down the Baratheon banner, and like how, even though I I feel like all of us wanted that there to be some dialogue, it was almost beautiful at just at the end like when like when do we start and then like cut to black, so that was great. And a couple couple other notes. So I really like what they've done with the Hound, kind of humanizing him. Uh, what what he's done, kind of making him feel bad for. For like bopping the guy on the head and stealing their silver after he was nice to him, but he's a completely different person and and seeing the Lord of Light and thinking like, okay, maybe this stuff I thought was crazy is actually real. And you know what was I thought was a little weird was how when Arya heard that guy sing, I was like, that guy sounds a lot like Ed Sheeran, but I don't think he would be in Game of Thrones. I was like, oh damn. That is it, you know. So I was like, hmm. Now I heard that uh, Macy Williams, the actress who plays Arya Stark, is a huge Ed Sheeran fan. No, I get it. He's he's got some good hits. I got I got no problem with him. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, he definitely looks. He didn't stand out. Like if they would have gotten Justin Timberlake or Justin Bieber, he's like, yeah, what the hell are they doing, Game of Thrones? But Ed Sheeran like actually works. I'm not sure how long he's going to be in Game of Thrones just because Arya's probably going to kill them all just because when he... I mean, they were very nice to her saying they gave her some of their dinner, they gave her uh, some wine, but if they get in her way at, at all, they're, she's going to be coming for them. And then one of the more gruesome scenes uh, was when... Was, and then Sam was like with the bedpans with the shit and the food and the vomiting. Honestly, I could deal with like the, the head slicing and so and so, but that was for me like, okay, okay, uh, wrap it up. Uh, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of that, but it did, but I like the end of it how he got to to the part with, with the dragon glass because that's really the only way to kill uh, White Walkers. So I'm very excited for for episode two. Um, if there's anything uh, that that you guys think, uh, l let me know. Uh, I'll try to do this after all seven episodes this season. Uh, but yeah, uh, because really not that much in sports to talk about. The Knicks Knicks are a train wreck. I'm happy that the Rangers did sign uh, Shattenkirk. Giants, uh, we got to see. I mean, they got no off. They got no offensive line, and who knows if if Perkins can do anything. The Yankees uh, have been struggling, so I don't know. But, but yeah. So until there's like sports picks up, I figured I'd do something non-sports. But yeah, again, like this, share it. If there's any any kind of video you'd like to see me do, uh, let me know and. See you after episode two. Bye.